So, hello, I'm Leo Vigoda from uh, ICANN, and there's a problem with some of the addresses that IANA will be uh, allocating to RIRs over the next couple of years, and uh, I like to think of it as the popcorn problem, which is all the popcorn at the top of the carton is really good, and when you get down towards the bottom of the carton, the popcorn gets a little bit more crunchy. And um, what the problem is, is that some networks out there are using unallocated IP address space, and that's not very nice. Um, the networks that we're aware of, well, some of them, um, network one, massive private use. Five uh, is used for zero comp VPNs like the Hamachi service. Uh, 42, uh, in a lot of documentation, particularly for the HP Pro Curve, as the uh, default um, address range when configuring that. Um, 104 is apparently used by the mesh networking community, um, not the grid networking community, which I recently found out is a different community. There are other networks out there, but um, they're, they're widely used in um, services and enterprises, and uh, that means that when we allocate one of these um, slash eights to an RAR and they allocate it to um, an ISP who uh, gives it to a customer to configure on their um, network, it's not quite as unique as everyone was hoping. And that's tricky um, because um, what normally happens is ISPs get support calls. And my understanding is when an ISP starts getting a support call, um, they start losing any profit that they were going to be getting from uh, that customer. Uh, so it might be nice if the enterprises uh, could renumber into either unique address space or into IPv6 ULAs or RSC 1918 space or something like that. Um, IPv6 space, there's lots of it. Um, I'm sure it works really, really well. Um, uh, alternatively, uh, uh, wing and a prayer. Uh, so uh, that's really my presentation. I just wanted to let you know that this will be happening. Um, these addresses, which are already in use, uh, are going to be um, allocated to RIRs, and they will go out to ISPs and customers, and they'll, they'll be like crunchy pieces of popcorn. That's it. We have time for questions. Quite a lot of time for questions, if anybody has any. Brian Dixon. Um, is the problem mostly packets that are seen from the, those address spaces, or is it routes? Um, I don't think it's uh, so much um, routes. I, I think the problem is more going to happen a bit like with 41 slash 8, uh, which was allocated to Afronic, and there was a, a discussion on Nanog and other lists about how uh, someone uh, was unable to connect to their mail server because their ISP was using it internally as private address space, and it was also allocated to an ISP in Africa who was providing mail services on it. Um, that's the sort of uh, issue that you're going to see. Yeah, I'm Joel Yegley. Um, I guess I would say that this problem has been observed with a relatively high amount of frequency with other uh, existing address space allocations when people uh, brought, put their networks on the internet and discovered that the space that they were using internally was in fact used somewhere else. And, you know, that includes things like, oh, you know, four slash eight, you know, obviously, which, um, you know, ha are used <laughs> by real networks. I'm, I'm sure it's, this isn't a new problem. I just think it's uh, going to get a little bit more painful. Absolutely. Um, I mean, we've uh, I observed um, um, in the last uh, internet boom cycle a number of people with product development things who said to me, well, what's the probability of 43 slash 8 being used 
we're going to use this because RFC 1918 is ambiguous. And I said, well, the probability is about 100%. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's um, something that comes up every time people design stuff. And if there are no more questions, I'd like to thank Leo and ask uh, Brian Dixon to come up to the podium. <laughs>